now that you know who we are, uh, you guys get to ask whatever questions you'd like. And um, we'll keep it in the realm of PG-13 because that's Metrocon policy. Uh, I know we can get a little naughty sometimes online and stuff, but um, we're going to keep it as sinless as possible. So apparently in the in the guide, it says, like, ask us about lava or something. Yeah. It literally says, ask us, ask me about lava. Like we should be wearing a pin. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, so we can open up the floor now if you guys want. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah this guy questions. with the TY has been holding his hand up for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Since yesterday. <laughs> yes. Hello, I know you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Um, we can pay to see the Metrocon Hall. Mm -hmm. Is that the same thing? Um, <laughs> you started this panel with you, can you sing a song? You mean Jenny Quackles? <laughs> Starts. Jenny! <laughs> uh, <laughs> is it that high? Is it Jenny? Uh, no! I think of Robbie Dave and I just think Jenny! <laughs> oh, Jenny, Jenny, I love you so. When I think about you, it's like a turn to dough. Uh, is that good enough? <laughs> That's tough. I was on a plane at 1 a.m. First question. Can you say it's song? actually all the questions are going to be that <laughs> <laughs> over and over again? Uh, yes, you in the front. Ooh, in real life. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know why? Because my mom never made good pancakes. <laughs> no, it's true. She's a great cook, but her pancakes were terrible growing up. And when I was about 20, coming home from college, I finally had enough like self-confidence, and she made pancakes one morning, and I was like, Mom, I love you more than anything. You're my world. I love you. The best mom in the world. Your pancakes suck. <laughs> what was and wrong with them? I make bad pancakes. They were like mealy and uh, not fluffy, and she's a great cook. I just didn't she would get make it. like fun shapes with the batter, like yeah, the she tried, but they still taste like boo boo. <laughs> and uh, I told her that, and it's been in her head for fifteen years. <laughs> and every once in a while, she'll be like, "I made some." And to be honest, her pancakes have been getting better for the last decade and a half. And now she has edible pancakes. But I still prefer waffles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, waffles. Oh. This not. They don't care. Yeah, they do. Yeah. What do you like? I don't really notice a difference. No. Oh, okay, okay. Like, okay. It's, it's it's okay. It's yeah, one second. It requires explanation. This, yeah. Uh, how do we start? Because I, I don't want to. I don't want to. It, it'll sound mean. They're the same. No, it, no it'll the sound same mean thing. because it is mean and deservingly so. <laughs> Ray Chase has no taste buds. No, he doesn't. He was born without taste buds. They are the same substance. It is a batter. So we can you put in a no, stop. iron. Oh, stop, 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 stop. stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> we could we could be at a three-star Michelin restaurant. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, let me start over. We could be at Taco Bell and Ray would go, hmm, that's good. We could be at a three-star Michelin restaurant and Ray would go, hmm, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter where we are. No, it doesn't matter at I all. think he appreciates it, but he appreciates it so quickly that you don't believe that it's real. Like you all sit down and you lay out your napkin and you have your first bite of your first little thing. You, you look, look over at Ray and he's just, he's got his last bite. <laughs> <laughs> it's faster than any human I've ever seen. It's amazing. Challenge you to an eating contest? Oh, I've never, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's something I don't think about. If I did think about it, I would choke. Well, literally, I figured it out. Uh, yeah. Con rule number 426, never accept an eating contest yeah. from anyone. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Ray is not allowed to answer that question. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Choose, I'll pick choose one. Choose one. Uh, I'll, I'll pick the tallest hand in the group. Yeah, that's you. Oh, uh, hey, Robbie, could you sing, uh... <laughs> 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 I want to congratulate you for getting the role of Spider-Man. Yeah! Thank you very much. He's a very popular character. I've never heard of him. No. <laughs> Was there any pressure going into that role? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Robbie peed himself the first day. Yeah, I did, and the second day, and the third, third day. I kept telling you, stop sitting on my lap while you're peeing yourself. <laughs> Wait, was I sitting on your lap or yeah. were you sitting on my lap? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, 
bears a lot of pressure. Uh, he's my he's my personal favorite superhero, and that's not like a pat PC answer. Like he's always been my favorite. He was it was the comics that got me into comics. So when I booked it, I, I went through that you know like the all the steps of oh, yeah. Uh, it was just a mix of all of that, and um, it was a tum I don't mind saying it for actors, it's like a legit q and It was sort of a tumultuous early production cycle as things, there were shifts in the cast, in the writing, in the directing, and everything throughout that show for like the first half of that first season. And uh, you know, Max and I are buddies, and we were we were just waiting for our card to come up, as I was, just waiting for that phone call of like, hey, good job, we've found someone else. It was scary, it was like being on Survivor or something. It you was, know, like, it was. Your, your flame has been snuffed out. Yeah, because you come in one day and you're like, this is the new solid zone, you go. <gasps> so I was actually the original Spider-Man. <laughs> was definitely pressure, both uh, self-generated and, uh, I would say, le le legitimate outside exterior pressure. But uh, I think once we settled into it, uh, it became more of reality. Because we've been holding, the, Max and I have been holding this secret for almost two years, so um, n n now it's, it's a lot more reality and it feels m much more comfortable. The nice thing about it, though, is that in the start of the series, he's very nervous and insecure about being Spider-Man, so at least that part works. You know what I mean? And as he goes on, he gets better at being Spider-Man, and I feel like I, I, I did the same. So. It's so good. You sound so good, dude. Thanks, Betty. My mom was just saying how good you sounded. I just talked to my mom, and she was like, she's like, oh, Max, Max sounds so good. The mothers love me. <laughs> uh, I think we've got Bleach holding up his hand in a long time, yeah. Uh, this is personal question for Brian. Uh-oh. What are your tattoos? When did you get them? Oh, uh, this one is a Japanese uh, Zelda uh, sort of inspired tattoo. I've got a Pona and the wolf. King of Red Lions, Navi, and this was the, my first tattoo that I ever got was the Triforce. So this tattoo, if you, if you listen real hard, you can hear Navi. <laughs> there it is, good. <laughs> Somebody knew that. <laughs> and then this one's a Native American tattoo. This is a dogwood tree, and they were they were all from the Midwest where I'm from. And uh, this is just this Indian guy. He's my friend. He doesn't have a name. He's just a nameless Indian, but he's always smelling my armpit. Uh, <laughs> so we're very close. Uh, and eventually these will continue to other parts of my body. <laughs> uh, you've been holding up your hand for a while, too. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, can I give you and Robbie a gift? Because I told you to put it on, I had to give it a Yes. 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 What is it? I'm not telling. Okay. and I hear something inside. I've got a little cutie prompt. It's in the box. That's in the candy! candy. Oh Wait. my gosh. Two Ray Chase from, I won't say her name, unless you want me to. Ashley says, off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. <laughs> and don't forget to eat your veggies. And it's all vegetables, really healthy. That is awesome. Thank you, Ashley. It's very cute. Um, mine says, my hair does not look like a chocobo spot. <laughs> your quote's so cool and manly. Yeah. Thank you for your business. <laughs> Question for Max? What? Um, I want to start it off with a question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's after the panel. 
is my specialty. Tomatoes. Uh, come to my table. I've got Leo, Prince, and... <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, there's been, there's been a few Leos that have come, come to me and to, to my table, so yeah, Leo's... Leo's going strong! Leo's going strong! Leo is losing. Wait, so I won? No. Gaius won? Yeah! It's so hot. Yeah! What about, oh my God. what about Tobin? Nobody cares. Ah, Shut up, Tobin. Yes! <laughs> uh, okay, right. No, Max. Yeah, right here. Hi! Hey. Um, I, I already asked you this question, so I'll ask Bobby and Mr. Jake. Okay. Um, what is your favorite video game genre? Favorite video game genre. Genre. Our favorite video game genre. That's tough. I would have to say competitive first-person shooter would be my favorite. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's followed by close second with um, with uh, RPG. Yeah. Yeah, for me definitely RPGs. And I, I love the hybrid of Fallout. The first-person RPG experience is so cool. I love it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right here. Hi. Um, <laughs> She's with Hi. <laughs> is my face still there? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Favorite girl. It's gotta be Arnea. She's so, she's so bad. Uh, prompto. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sydney for sure. Yeah. She's my kind of girl. Who's Sydney? <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> Cindy. That's the Australian. Why didn't Cindy. they do that? I know. Why it's didn't crazy. they do that? Well, Dan, Dan explained it to me because uh, uh, he had talked about it once. Um, in Japanese, Sid, Sydney, it's Sid and Sydney, and in English, and so it's spelled C-I-D, and C-I-D, O-N-E in the Japanese, Sidoni. Um, so for, in English, if you were to call someone Sydney with, and spell it with a C, it's an unusual and not canon spelling. So they went with Cindy, which is a common girl's name. That was the reasoning for it. Hey. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> let's talk only spelling questions from now on. Yes. Guys, let's go way in the back with the curly hair. No, it was other stuff, but yeah. How do you feel about cup noodles? How do I feel about cup noodles? I love them. <laughs> love cup noodles, and I chose egg for my uh, for what I, I uh, put on my cup noodles. It's great. Can we have our Gladio here with the cup noodle sword? Please stand up and recognize this amazing cosplay. <laughs> that is amazing. Are they full? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In an emergency, we're coming to you. That's yeah. a, that's a disaster win. <laughs> We're just gonna see a trail of cup noodles down the con floor. Yeah. Uh, I I don't particularly like them. Uh, they make me feel like I'm about to have a heart attack because uh, it's just like 900 milligrams of sodium just like punching you in the face. Uh, but I used to eat the I used to eat like the bigger like didn't they have like bigger cup noodles that were like were they with like a bowl. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's a different brand. It's a different brand? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, nobody's sponsoring me, so I'll say whatever I want. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, they're, they were all right. Uh, I had a, everybody had a, a college ramen phase, right? Uh -huh, when you thought that was food? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you're immediately hungry afterwards. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, you realize you just ate uh, a cup of water and ten yeah. salt packets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got it. Uh, it's big. <laughs> All right, uh, you in the way back. Did you ask a question yet? Me? Yes. Uh, not yet. Um, so this is for Robbie, since I got to ask Max and Ray yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, who is, besides these two, among your favorite people that you've worked with, and who would you like to work with in the future that you haven't yet? Uh, I want to work with them until I die. Uh, no one else but them. We're always in all the same stuff, and I don't want to be with anybody else. I'm faithful. They're my OTP of voiceover people. Uh, no, I'm just 
just kidding. I like a lot of other people. Uh, no, they're my faves. Um, th listen, this is a, it's impossible to pick uh, uh, people that you... Because honestly, there's maybe two people that I don't like to work with in the entire business. Like, that's it. I, I really enjoy everybody. They are, they are really they're like, who is it? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, I, uh, uh, I would say that some of my idols, though, would be like uh, Rob Paulson, uh, who I've actually never worked with. And um, we have the same birthday, and I just respect him so much. He's like maybe my, my, my biggest voiceover idol. And uh, But I've gotten a chance to work with, like, legends. And, um, yeah, like, you know, people like... You know, Jim Cummings, like friggin' Winnie the Pooh, for God's sakes. You know what I mean? Like, how good can it get? Uh, Maurice LaMarche, all these great people. And one of the first jobs I ever did was a room full of, like, people I had no idea why I was there. Uh, so, um, the nice thing about voiceover people is that it's pretty much an egoless profession if you choose to make it that way. Uh, I think taking the face and body out of it is a little bit part of that, embodying someone else instead of making it all about you. And uh, the only people that I don't like, those few people that I don't like working with, it, the reason I don't like working with them is because they've allowed that ego to come into part of it. And uh, that's why I don't care for those people. But other than that, everybody else is literally everyone else is, I don't mean to just like keep self-congratulating voice actors, but it really is a really nice group of people. Yeah, I can honestly say that. You've been holding your hand up for a long time. Go for it. <clears throat> What is our favorite piece of Final Fantasy XV party banter? Mine's the newest one is every time you laugh when you ride the, uh... When you ride the... <laughs> yeah, over and over again. Over and over, over, over again. No, favorite piece of banter. I like... The, one of the weirdest ones, and it plays a lot, is, uh... I think uh, you say, I got a shoe in my pebble, and I say, take it out. And that's it. I have a shoe in my pebble? <laughs> yeah, that was what it was. That's hard to do. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> think about that. Uh, I think my favorite is like how often you're like you're like a woman like going through the change. You're so cold and warm all the time. Oh, oh yes. He's yeah. constantly having flat like hot flashes and cold flashes. So lose the jacket. That's it. Yes. That's the where Gladio's always telling you to take your clothes off or put them back on. It's very weird. It's very weird. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll pick one. Uh, you have a jersey on? You made tracks. All right, I got you. Um, this is a question to all of you. What is like the funniest moment you've ever had in the booth? Funniest moment we've ever had in the booth. Uh, there's a an extended. You guys haven't seen it, but uh, I'm in Anohana, the flower we saw that day, finally dubbed after 150 years. Um, and I uh, there's a scene with me and Erica Lindbeck's character, and she's wearing a shirt. It's like how sometimes we'll wear shirts with kanji on them, but not know the meaning of it, but it looks cool. She's wearing a shirt that I guess in, to a Japanese person looks really cool, but it is white with pink and green letters that just say pig on it. <laughs> and so there's an extended one minute alternate take where I just did it all the way through, where I just berate her for wearing the shirt with pig on it, saying, did you think that was cool? Do you think that was a cool idea? You're making me look stupid here. And I cannot wait, because Anaplex uses alternate takes. I cannot wait for that one to come out because we cracked up on that one. It's, it's a long, long blooper. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't know, like moments are tough because there are the feel like, Cartoon people are the filthiest people in the world. And I think it's because you're doing kids entertainment where you just want to go, ah, word! You know what I mean? So there's always just these dirty jokes. And I remember sitting, I wasn't, it was, I was not in the booth. I was waiting for my turn to go in, sitting in on an episode of uh, Go Pig Banana Cricket. That was a show on Nickelodeon for a minute. And it was it was Fred Tesher and uh, John DiMaggio and then two other people I can't remember. Pig Go Banana Cricket. Pig Go Banana Cricket. <laughs> Is it not on anymore? I, I don't know. I okay. Don't, I, don't, right. I don't think so. Wow. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, they riffed on like doing the alphabet, but burping and farting while they were doing it. 
and it was one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. And I'm, I feel like I have like, yeah, I have an elevated taste for comedy, but listening to these grown men be like, hey, be palsy, and just like making fart noises, and it went on for like 10. They just let them go. And one of my favorite bloopers, though, is in Ray's show, uh, Charlotte, uh, where I play his blind brother, and uh, they're like looking around for their friend's bodies, and like I'm looking for like my best friend, but I'm like blind and tapping around the wreckage, and the girl next to me goes, he's over here, see him? <laughs> and the blooper reels, I like, just go, oh, see? Nice! <laughs> that one's on YouTube, you can watch the Charlotte bloopers Is it on really? YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. On there, yeah. one of my favorites. Favorite moment? Nothing fun ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, it always has to do with outtakes. Like yesterday, I think I, this similar question was asked, and there's an outtake in your line in April, but I don't want to ruin it for the people who haven't seen your line in April. Uh, I, that's all I can say. Go watch your line in April, <laughs> yeah. and then come back to the story. Yeah, that show's full of funny bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> but I think line your line in April, I think hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You right there. Yes. We know how to answer this hey, one. Yeah. Go! Ah! Uh, well, it's, it's, we give pretty much the same answer uh, when we get asked this question. It's take acting classes. Uh, do it for the enjoyment, not for the money, because there is no money. Uh, and uh, I always like to say mimic. Mimic cartoons, mimic your friends, professors, family. Uh, in your own time. Don't do it in front of them. Yeah, directly uh, mock your professors. That's that's what yeah, Max Feldman is saying. Absolutely, you uh -huh. can quote me on that. Yep. Uh, but it's really the same thing because voice acting is acting, um, and so uh, if you have a solid acting background, then you're able to um, take that with you into voiceover. I agree. I start. I always totally right. Start with the acting part of voice acting, and then work on honing the the skills that s surround it. You know, there are a lot of different kinds of acting, and there are great TV and film actors who get behind the microphone and can't do anything. There are a lot of great voice actors who get behind a camera and fall apart. So uh, so I would concentrate on the acting part of it and then building the other skills after that. Uh, and then also if you want like some really good just straight information, uh, there's a website called I want to be a voice actor.com. I want to be. I want to be. Right? I want to. No, it's I want to. I know. I, I used to. Oh, yeah. Dang it. I wrote it wrong on someone's paper the other day. Yeah. No. I, I, they'll figure it out. It. They'll figure Google. Google fix it. Google fix it. Uh, what's in this Coca-Cola life? Um, I want to be a voice actor.com, all one big long word. And uh, it's a free website that was made by D. Bradley Baker, who's a very prolific voice actor. And um, he basically just got asked this question so much, he was like, here, go here. And it's everything from like what kind of mics to buy, how to start pursue, pursuing stuff, the, the traps and pitfalls of working in the business, how to take it to the next level, what you need to do to get an agent. It's the best resource as a, as a, as a just, you know, up and coming or starting voice actor. It's the best resource. And, it's and, so detailed. And we're pitching it like we're selling it uh, because it's that good. There's nothing to it's buy. It's free. It's, it's free. just a free thing that he made that anybody can go on at any time. He's not trying to sell you like a PDF or something like it's just free and a great site so if you really want some good info that's the place to go we've got prompto in front next So for our loud, annoying Twitch channel, are there any games that we would love to stream but haven't? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. Well, yeah. we've been finding that Fridays are tough, so we're switching our day of the week coming yeah. soon. Uh, um, yeah, what do you guys want to stream? Something that we've always... <clears throat> I got one. I want to do a fighting game month. I think we had a lot of fun with um, the, the, um, the, uh, uh, the uh, Smash Brothers Smash Brothers tournaments, and uh, I want to do a month of fighting games. And I think between the three of us, we're in uh, several. Uh, yeah. Uh, we want to do uh, we want to do uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm Four yeah. that we're all in. Uh, I want to do Marvel vs. Capcom because yes. that's coming up for me, and um, we all want to we want to pick some fighting games and do that kind of stuff. So that's one. That's that's what I want to do. I want to do a month of fighting games. 
I don't know. I haven't really thought about like other games. I'm terrible at that. I think it'd be fun to do Near. I love that game. It's a lot of fun. So that'd be a good one to stream. We're all a part of it. At least the, the Romeo and Juliet part for you guys. Uh, it's a good. These guys are the Romeo and Juliet robots. If you guys didn't know that, it's. I know Max is for sure. Yeah. I may or may not be. I remember doing it sometimes when they replaced me. So I don't know. I haven't played that. Yeah. Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> Am I Juliet? I don't know. It's possible. You're probably Juliet. <laughs> That's a great question. Romeo, Thanks, yeah. Romeo. You're my Juliet. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are feeding the fire, my friend. <laughs> uh, way in the left there. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, so besides characters that you um, voice, uh, who is your favorite Fire Emblem character? Favorite Fire Emblem character besides the one that we voiced? You mean besides? Leo or Forrest or Caden or Gordon or Gray. Jeez, <laughs> uh, there's none left. I like I like I like uh, Jagan. He's so um, he's so weathered, and it's like all these kids who are all like, "Let's go, let's go fight the bad guys." And he's like, "Let's go." Uh, come Wait, on, kids. his name is Jeggings. Jagan. Oh, okay. yeah. And jeggings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jeans that are leggings. <laughs> He's my favorite too. Uh, I don't know. I really like. Uh, I really like. I've never played anything. You've never played anything else. <laughs> what are you doing down there, Robbie? I was trying to hide. Oh, do the other way. <laughs> Make me uncomfortable. Uh, well, I do like that one lady who's what's her name, guys? The one you with know. the boobs. Yes, Camilla. Yes. Chocobo's been up for a long time, for okay. sure. Yeah. Alright, all three of you, what do you guys think about the episode Ignis trailer? Uh, what do we think about episode Ignis trailer? It's a teaser trailer, it's a minute long. <laughs> yeah. You, we saw it together, right? Yeah. No? I don't know what this yeah, is. Yeah, we all saw it when we played, um... Oh yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> they're, like stepping, they're like stepping on his face or something. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Glasses. yeah, yeah, broken glasses. I was really hoping it was going to take place after that when he was just learning how to be. <laughs> I mean, just like bumping her. I think that would be awesome. I would play that in a heartbeat. <laughs> I think it looks good. I think they have a lot of time to work on this one, and so it's they're good, and they're going for an atmosphere that you don't really. It's hinted at in the main game, but this one is really. It seems very hardcore. So I'm looking forward to it for sure. And I think that's maybe the one. The one section that's been explained the least yeah. in the game proper. Yeah. So they've got a lot of freedom to make that whatever they want it to be. Mm -hmm. And it's more. Um, oh, these things are really juicy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to talk in my mouth. Oh, right. You're done talking. You're done. It looks really good. You're done. All right. Well, let's choose another one. Uh, I'm going to choose three. I'm going to go one, two, and then Steven Universe. Okay, so you first. Yes. Cool. Hi. Hey. So, thank you. I played Ephra de Tershov in Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, he is uh, he's an Angara, a new race, and I had auditioned for Mass Effect a, a number of times and didn't get a part and found out that the, what they do at Bioware, which is really nice, is if they liked your auditions before but they didn't want you, they already chose other people, better actors for the other parts, uh, <laughs> they will they'll keep you in mind for future people. And so I was brought in for Ephra, and they gave him. We started out with a uh, like a, a South African dialect. Did it? They put it in the game. They said it's not working. Can we do Russian dialect? Did it again. Put it in. It's not working. How about Australian? And that's what ended up in the game. Uh, I did the other dialect. I did full sessions with those dialects, and then we redid them again. It was uh, it was a big <laughs> recasting thing, but luckily they kept standing up for me, and uh, and he ended up being the the sexy alien that you can't get with, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> Give me stuff. This is the best panel ever. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's pretty solid. It's so cute. Do I get to read? Do I get to read this now? That um sounds like Vader. <laughs> nope, I'll save it for private time. All right, Steven. 
is a question for Robbie and Max. It's already asked already yesterday. Uh, out of all your characters, which one is the most fun to voice? That you just like, this is the one that I want to go in and do. Uh, I mean, it's not the popular answer, but like, I, I like the silly ones, the really, really broad ones. Uh, that, you know, I, I like to go in and do Overflow from Ben 10. I like to go in and do Plaque, because he's silly. Polter Goose, that yeah. character, was super fun. Cloud Monster was fun on Breadwinners. Um, I like to go in and do Jimmy Olsen on Justice League Action because he's uh, he's so like overzealous about everything, and uh, I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, uh, I'm like be in the same zone. Yeah, I mean, if there were one thing I want to do more in my career, it's more utility work and broader characters, which I feel like I get to do a fair amount of, like uh, like in uh, in. Uh, yeah, okay, KO that just came out, like that's kind of more of a broad, more cartoony character that's like, it's just sort of an oversexed, goofy, sort of over the top character. Came on on the plane, I was watching a TV on the plane and I, Robbie's character just came on the screen, I was like, oh, cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds, it sounds, he's funny. I hope, I'm, yeah. he's well written, it's funny, but I also like some of the stuff I did in Nickelodeon, like doing a new show for them right now, and one character's up here, but he's like kind of quiet, but it's an easy, funny voice to do. Uh, the other character is like, I, I don't you know, so like he doesn't, he doesn't, nothing's up here. But he's like, his little lines are funny, and I love those kind of like big, broader, monstery characters. I would, I, if I had to pick, those are the ones I look forward to the most. I also for, for anime. Uh, I'm gonna be real, like I. I'm glad for the roles. I'm glad when they come along, but like real heavy actions. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, you can, you know, I need to do it, but it's, I don't necessarily always look forward to it because four hours of like kicking butt and all that stuff, it can it can take its toll on you. Um, but for anime, I really like doing Crollo, Crollo from Hunter Hunter, uh, just because he's um, he's so low key and like smooth. And like I always look forward to the session because it feels like just a nice massage on my throat. It's, it's so interesting. In so we work with we work with Bang Zoom and Studio. And, and some other studios, and Bang Zoom only knows Robbie as a deep voice, sultry character. Any Bang Zoom production, he's Gil Thunder, and he's way down here. Yeah, it's yeah. very weird. They're like all the Ray rolls. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird experience. Because think about it for Bang Zoom, I do Gil Thunder, Hunter Hunter, Guy Leo in uh, Gundam, like all these characters. They're way down here, like, it's not what I do. <laughs> Obviously, it is, but you I guess it is, is what you do now. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Bang Zoom. Uh, did I get, okay, great. Uh, parade, choose three. Choose three. Okay, so we'll do Hero, we'll do Yellow Shirt, and we'll do Glasses Over Here. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, what's your guys' favorite meme from the live stream? Oh, <laughs> don't make us pick between our memes. Uh, <laughs> favorite meme. I, don't know. I like all the, uh, and this is a selfish answer. I like a lot of the mime, the mime prompt oh, stuff. Yeah. Some, of, some of those gif, those gifs are pretty funny. I like those. I don't know if everybody knows that we have a stream uh, oh, in yeah. this room. So we stream video games, and uh, we're very silly on Twitch.tv/LoudAnnoying. Um, we never miss a week. Opposite. <laughs> 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 Uh, at Loud Annoying on, on Twitch, if you guys do it, and Twitter as well, at Loud Annoying. So, and all so, of our moderators are right here in the yeah, center row. Yeah. Pokemon Cheese, uh, she, uh, she makes these awesome gifts of us, uh, and that's what she's referring to. She gave me a live action gift today. Yeah. Yes. That's a flip book. <laughs> like the original gif. Uh, it's, <laughs> it is gif, not gif. Uh, and, you flip, and you flip through it, and it's just Max flipping me off. <laughs> Which I see every day anyway, but I still really like it. <laughs> For me, I like anything that has to do with my dog, Milo, and that was what my uh, gift was from. So, uh, yeah, I love those ones. They warm my heart. I still like the uh, Friends one, where I'm running into the room with a pizza. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything's, everything's on fire. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna relive old memes yeah, for yeah, the rest yeah, of yeah. this panel. Uh, what was the second? Remember second? this time? Second, second, yellow shirt. Yeah. Uh, I was actually gonna ask, do you have any silly uh, recording studio? Uh, stories. 
So we're talking about, so we had a question, is there anything fun to happen in the booth? Um, but I will talk about an actual recording studio that uh, my first recording studio was my car that I would, because if, if you're in your car, it's kind of dead inside. There's no echo or anything. So I would do audiobooks in my car in the mountains uh, where there's no planes flying over from midnight to 6 a.m. was how I got my start doing audiobooks because I didn't have a way to do it. Um, that was my recording studio for a good six months. It was horrible. Do not recommend it to anybody. <laughs> Yeah, me and and because I didn't have power in my car, so I could only record for a couple of hours until my laptop went out, charge it at like a Mexican restaurant that's open 24 hours, and then go back out in the mountain again. How long were you holding this right now? No, still am. still looking for it. I have a terrible. Re my first recording booth was in a awful house in uh, the Latino ghetto of uh, of Los Wait, Angeles. You recorded in a house too? Yeah, yeah. job. My no, my very first. Yeah, when I, when you first were doing like local like radio yeah. commercials and voice one two three. Yeah. And, and it was a house. This is you know we're talking like nine or ten years ago, and uh, it was like it was a five bedroom house that um, by the time I left it after two years I was the sole leaseholder. There were I had nineteen roommates over the course of, uh, and they were always doing something stupid, and uh, I would have to sit there in between every time I was talking, like, oh. and because there was background noise, yeah. and just insert silence and clean up the audio, so it would take me, and I wasn't very good at it at the time, so it would take me two hours to do a, to send off a 30 minute, wow. or a 30 second, uh, a 30 second audio clip Wait. that I was getting paid, you know, 250 bucks for. That's how long it takes me now. <laughs> We'll talk about your setup. Uh, yeah, but like, yeah, I mean, I think everybody has humble beginnings, so, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that would, <laughs> tell me something funny or crazy that happened. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. I knew I shouldn't have invited these guys to my panel. Come on. All right, who's the third person? Glasses. Oh, uh, glasses right there, yeah. Uh, Robbie, two-part question. Um, <laughs> part is, how amazing is it to, to be part of the Santa Moon universe and Mask. And the second one is, what is your favorite line or favorite scene from Sailor Moon? Uh, it is very amazing. <laughs> it was my first ever anime. I couldn't be more grateful for it. It was my foot in the door, and, and what a big, fun, stupid foot it is. Uh, I would like to say it's all of the bad poetry. Anytime I get to like stand on a lamppost and go like, beautiful girls should never be forced to learn homework. I'll, I'll teach you the ABCs of justice. Like, anytime I get to say any of that dumb, dumb stuff, I, I leave the studio with a big old smile on my face. And uh, and I have the world's lamest call out. <laughs> Do you guys know Sailor Moon Tuxedo Man he actually has a call out? <laughs> Tuxedo the Smoking Bomber! <laughs> Tuxedo la, just throw a French la in there. Smoking bomber. It's the worst. That's like a bomb that doesn't work. Like, you throw it out and it just kind of impotently smokes. It's the worst. Alright, choose two people, Rob. I'll choose two. Uh, right up front and then right there. Walmart greeter. <laughs> so what would, the, what would the heroes do if they weren't, from One Punch Man that we did, uh, what would they do if they weren't heroes for a living? You know those guys that go to, um, to like garage sales just to find the best deals? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that's what he would do. Or he'd be like one of those storage locker guys. He'd buy like the storage oh, locker. Yeah. Or like an extreme couponer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a job? Is that a profession? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wow. They have like books. That'd be okay. <laughs> I think uh, storage <laughs> line. <laughs> I think if, if Pori Pori Prisoner wasn't a superhero, he would be a uh, high school guidance counselor. <laughs> Sports team, right? Yeah, yeah. coach of a sports team, that's right. Right, because guidance counselor deals with men and women, young men and women. Oh, that's sports not team. Where I was going with yeah. <laughs> I think he might be one of those guys at a gay bar that just walks around with the vials of shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like on his belt. He's yeah, like, yeah. hey! This one's called the Devil's <laughs> Kiss. <laughs> Um, so I think you're in relationship. 
we all have bad days, and we have to find that issue our job. So you guys are no different. What is something that all three of you, I guess the question, um, that you find that are helps you get comfort and great mood to go into a job that you need to I look at a picture of Robbie Damon. <laughs> Keep it on my dashboard. Before I go into a session, I talk to it and I say, give me strength. <laughs> give me life. <laughs> and I go in and I just nail it. I nail it. You know, I feel it every time. He jokes, but we are kind of our voiceover support system for each other. Oh, Let's yes. Let's be real about it. Oh, uh, definitely. We have a very private... Uh, very private. A very private... <laughs> WhatsApp chat. Thread. I was going to name the app. Oh, uh, yeah. But you can't hack it's WhatsApp. Encry it's encrypted. I, I see the little thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have in, in our little thread, and I feel like whenever... Uh, with this, we're the luckiest people in the world to be able to do what we do, but uh, but not every day at the office is awesome. And we have each other to vent to, we have each other to get excited about. When the One Punch Man casting was coming out, you know, we knew Max was, you know, number one in line for it, but he went through a rigorous auditioning process. So he had Ray to go to, and like me, much less so. But, uh, but they were they were taught. That's true. Oh, because you hadn't seen the show. Yeah, you, yeah. Guys, were, you guys were more into it, yeah, better friends yeah, yeah. at the time, and yeah. He you guys knew each other better, but um, but now that we've all grown closer, we definitely talk to each other and we go, hey, did you get this? Yeah, I got that. What do you know about this? Or what's what's codename Banana Hammock? Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's really Final Fantasy XIX. Right, you know. So we are our support system. We we do help each other, and I, I'm not sure everybody has that. And I, I think it's a it's a good relationship that we have. Um, me personally. Uh, I've been doing this since I was a little bitty, so for me, a lot of the time it's just putting on like I just go I just go game face, like I just go like pro mode, and like that's it. And like you know, even when your personal life is maybe not going the best, you got to go in there. And there's no faking it for us. Like you know, you go in there and you try to fake it, and you people are gonna know, and it's gonna come out of your performance. But that's something I've been dealing with since I've been a kid. So, you know, if you can, <laughs> if you can go through puberty and still go to a play, you know, yeah, you, can, yeah. you can go and do, uh, you can do it if you're having a bad day. And for me, I always bring my dog Milo to the studio. <laughs> and it's really hard to stay mad or not be uh, psyched for something when you've got a dog there and you realize the only thing that matters is how hungry you are. And you go, nothing else, nothing else matters. All that matters is food and life is pretty good because I've got food. That's it, yeah. <laughs> it's a good psychology thing, yeah. That explains a lot about the way you eat. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Life's good, life's good, life's good, life's good! <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> we, uh, we have uh, about 10 minutes left. So, um, do you wanna, whoever has questions now, I, said, uh, I think Scott did this yesterday, it was a great idea. Whoever has any questions, raise your hands and these will be the final questions that we get to. Because I wanna get through everyone. So, so we'll, do, we'll do a lightning round then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lightning round iron hammer! Do we have ten minutes? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, do we do uh, ten minutes worth of lightning round? Uh, I suppose so. Uh, let's do it. Let's go the far end then. Is there ever a moment where you just walk into the studio and see more next to your work before and go, hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day, every day. It's a very small community. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite things because I, I do love I do love this community so much. So when I see someone that I I like and and I know, uh, it, it's really exciting. Actually, uh, that that actually is one of the other things that makes me excited for a session: seeing people that I that I know and, and like, not just actors but directors and producers. Yeah. I thought you were going to say not just Robbie and Ray. <laughs> Let's do Tifa. We, Max and I, how do we feel about Kingdom Hearts? Uh, Max and I are in it. We play uh, master and servant uh, of the, the Book of Prophecy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm the master of masters. You're the servant of servants. I didn't I mean, see that right? way. No, uh, we'll talk about it later. Uh, Max and I played it together for the very first time, and it was fun. Yeah. We, yeah. we turned that Riku race into a race. We played it like 10 or 12 times. Yeah. Yeah. 10 or 12? Yeah. I think it was more like it was 1,500. It was really fun. Uh, so I like it. I'm excited to see more about it. Yeah. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I loved it. I played them both when they came out. Beat them, played them both, beat them both. Never played any of the in-between, like Kingdom Hearts X.24, Dream Hearts dropping on mm -hmm. your face. <laughs> I, I don't know what they all are. But well, I played the two main entries, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, I was wondering, um, do you think maybe are you going to come here next year 
Adam Crow Cole and Chris Parsons. Have we made anything? Talk to Metricon staff. Talk to Metricon staff. Whatever sort of form of uh, suggestion box, whatever stuff that they have, drop your suggestions in there, and if they hear from enough people, they will respond. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, we've never been together. To meet. We've never been together. We've never been together at a con. So. Yeah, the four main guys from Final Fantasy never been together. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And Tread Fear. Oh, yeah, they will do Stand by Me after death the end. Uh, yes. Oh, that was really fun. That was all ADR with Roger. I'm glad to play a young Bucky. And I got this big emotional scene at the end. So that was a great experience. Yeah, I had just been cast in Spider-Man. I've been working about six weeks on it. It's so weird to say that in public. Uh, uh, and, uh, and they brought me in for it. And I was like, hey, am I doing Spidey on this? And they're like, no, you're going to play Bucky. I was like, oh, it was really, really fun. I enjoyed that experience. Yes. How did I prepare for beans? <laughs> beans. That was a line that was something in Japanese, and it just didn't fit in English. And so we had about three seconds to fill, and we did like a bunch of variations like, I don't like beans, but it just sounded weird. And then uh, I came up with the idea, what if I just say the word beans, but extend it to three seconds? And it worked great. I'm so glad they went with that. We actually, I didn't realize, but the panel is actually over, so we got to go speedy through oh, this. Oh, okay, ready? It's over? And yes, it's super fast. Like, ready? Round, here round, here round, Yes. What is my favorite type of cake? Portal cake. Yes. <laughs> Purple. Black chocolate. Yes, in the back. Me? Yes. Okay. So on Lava Stream uh, with Keith Silverstein, you guys did um, play Tor with him with a. Uh, Torbjorn Overwatch. 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 Yes. With Overwatch. Yeah. So you guys said my name really funnily. And it was uh, wrecked by deck chat, and you guys made like this big spiel about it. Oh, yeah. It was hilarious. I wanted to say thank you. Great question! <laughs> yes, yes. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, sorry. Go for a prompto first. Yes, you first. Oh, he's great. I think he's a tremendous actor, and we're really good friends forever and ever. <laughs> yes. Psych yourself up to play a character's edge is Oh, that is, he's a super edge lord. I play Kane in League of Legends. I uh, listen to emo music and cried all day. <laughs> okay, yes, Ryuji and then you. Yes. Okay, to Ryuji and Akechi, who is the best girl and best boy of Persona 5? To Ryuji and Akechi, who's the best boy and best girl? Yeah, in your voice. Ryuji is both best boy and best girl. Akechi is both best girl and best girl. <laughs> Ah, I'm ready for it. Ready. Do you know that there's more Persona 5 stuff? I don't know if I'm in it. I, my character's not in it. Oh, wait, 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 We got everyone? Is it, uh, wait, some, someone's pointing. Someone was pointing. Who, 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 yes? Paper fast food. Paper fast food. In and out! Oh, no. Fast food. <laughs> I don't really like it either. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other questions? Can we do it? Can we ask you a question? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 Over in the uh, the con floor, yeah, and then right come now. to lava. Lava at tonight. Six thirty tonight.